I think the first thing to think about is the personality. Lena here um, is a very mellow cat. Uh, and we have a toddler, we can, which, you know, a toddler can be very pushy. They don't know how to deal with animals yet. But Lena, and Lena is four years now, over four years old, she has never ever scratched or bitten anyone in this house, including the baby. Um, I mean, sometimes she, she she can jump very unexpectedly, so you know, she if she if you're holding her and she just jumps, she might scratch you, but that's not intentional, you know. And I keep her nails trimmed. You wanna show your nails? She doesn't like showing her nails, but let's see. <laughs> can you see that they are trimmed? So yeah, her nails are trimmed at all times, so you know. Even if she's scratched by mistake, it doesn't hurt. But yeah, going back to the personality, very uh, mellow, chill cat. Uh, that's of course because she's neutered and we keep her indoors. I once was trying to walk her on a leash and I was, I got into this, you know, um, routine of taking her out and that was, she got a little bit crazy. <laughs> you know, she would stop by the door and meow, meow, meow and she got a little bit agitated if she didn't go out. Uh, but we had to stop that because we moved into the very city center and there's nowhere to take her here and there's too much noise It's stressful. So that's, you know, problem solved itself. Uh, but yeah, a very gentle cat. Um, another thing is she's gentle and she, she likes love and affection, but not all of the time. In general, what I see is that she's around. You can hear my toddler talking, sorry. In general, you see that she is around, but she's not on top of you. She will come sometimes for a cuddle, but that's when she wants it. She's not like my Burmese over there. She's crazy. She's a stalker and she wants to be on top of you the whole time. Lena here, she is no, she likes her me time, she likes her space. And from time to time, when she wants, she will come for some cuddle and and she, she wants to be with you. Another thing that I find funny, I don't think all Russian blues are like that, but Lena is, she's a shoulder cat, so whenever you pick her up immediately, she climbs up to your shoulder. I have some videos that I can link showing uh, her doing that. Um, another thing I say about the Russian, so the personality, you know, it's a very nice cat for a family, very mellow but not very clingy. Uh, that is the second thing to think about. They say that the Russian Blue is a hypoallergenic breed. Oh, my toddler wants to participate. <laughs> Hi, sweetie. So they say that um, they are a hypoallergenic breed, which means, you know, if you have allergies, uh, they don't cause allergies. I cannot confirm that. Uh, we are not allergic here, so, you know, I can't, from my experience, say she is or she isn't. The only thing I can say is that I have a friend who is very allergic and he came to visit once and I had just locked the cats away and he was fine. But what I would recommend is, you know, uh, try to visit someone who has, if you have allergies, try to visit someone who has a Russian blue first. Don't go on getting one before you test it. Um, Okay, so we said personality, we said possibly hypoallergenic. Um, the next thing is, uh, it's very easy to groom and take care of the Russian Blue. So, you see it's a short-haired cat. Uh, I said in one of my past videos that they shed a lot, but that's not exactly true, because I was comparing her to the Burmese and that's unfair. Because the Burmese, you can see the Burmese there, has very little hair, so it's, you know, it's an unfair comparison. I think it's fair to say that the Russian Blue doesn't shed that much. If you, um, if you brush it once a week, you should be fine, especially if you compare it to a long hair cat. It's very easy to, to, it's very easy to groom them, just like a once a week brush and that's fine. You can see her double hair here, very, very obviously in her, in her belly. Uh, she's also, you know, I have a video where I show me uh, brushing her with the Furminator and she loves it. We'll link that. I have another video where I show 
uh, how to trim the nails and she also doesn't really mind me I don't I'm not gonna say she likes it but she she just sits there and lets me do it <laughs> she is a very very sweet sweet gentle lady so overall I'm gonna say it's very good family cat you know very low maintenance very healthy they don't tend to have any you know they are a natural breed so they don't tend to have like this this uh, health issues that come with you know that develop because they bred the cats to look a certain way and that doesn't you know it's not very good for their health so they are very healthy we rarely actually uh, only once she had a cat flu when she came to us uh, but yeah overall very healthy cat I think one more thing that I will say uh, that's very important as well you have to consider they do not do well with change she does not like changing her environment she gets very stressed you know every time we've had to move we had to move them over from Europe we have to move apartments here in the US multiple times she gets a little bit stressed out so uh, make sure that you have a stable environment for her, the Russian blue um, oh and one more thing as well <laughs> that's funny she's very food motivated oh my god so food motivated whereas the Burmese there she's very attention motivated you know she meows and does everything for attention this lady here it's all about the food and the treats she is the type of cat who my husband feeds her so it, he's her favorite person you know so make sure if you want to develop a relationship you are the one giving the treats um, and the next thing she comes in the morning very early and sometimes she will sit on his neck <laughs> and poor 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 until she it's very sweet actually um, but you know you have to understand this part of uh, what makes her happy and we are very happy to oblige her with the treats and everything it's just uh, it's something that makes her happy and she's very motivated by um, I just would say you have to watch a little bit of the diet though because there's a, a lot of Russian blues they tend to be overweight because of you know they have this um, you know this they, they really uh, food motivated um, anyways yeah I think those are the main things that I had in mind to say to consider if the Russian blue is the right cat for you it's definitely the right cat for us we love Lena uh, she is the sweetest lady. She's so kind. She's so mellow. She is um, Just a loving loving little um, I Don't know. I love you so much Lynn. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Um, you know consider the things I said, but overall it's I definitely recommend that you Can never regret having a Russian blue All right, hope this helps if I missed anything if you um, if you you know think some of the things I say are not exactly true please leave us comments I'm not an, a specialist I always share based on my experience with Lena so always appreciate you guys sharing your own experiences all right bye bye say bye bye Lena